Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your first look forecast for this March 31st, the final day of the month of March. It has been March madness in the weather as well. Things are trying to straighten out. Yesterday, we got a little bit warmer than expected. 66 was the official high temperature of the Bowling Green Airport yesterday afternoon. And as we look live from the airport area, Looking down Scottsville Road from the Independence Bank weather cam this morning, skies mainly clear, although we will see a few clouds mixing with the sunshine today. It should be a very nice day. Current temperatures right now showing uh, 41, Bowling Green Airport 45 in Nashville, 53 in Paducah. We've got 50 up in Louisville, 44 in Lexington. All these numbers um, a little bit chillier, 36 over in Somerset. Again, a kind of a microclimate going on here and it's even more pronounced when you look at the uh, mesonet temperatures this morning because you've got uh, let's say 34 in Burksville then up the road in Edmonton it's 50 and you've got 40 here in Bowling Green 45 in Scottsville 48 in Greenville then it's 51 in Madisonville so it all depends on the city and the elevation it's just the way the atmosphere is behaving this morning it's giving these little microclimates where the elevation in one city uh, gives the temperature a little bit of a cooler feel and uh, that's the way it's all going to shake out this morning but everything will even out as we go through the day here's Doppler Max HD nothing showing in southern Kentucky this morning not expecting really anything today even a three-hour radar satellite showing some cloud cover but not much else going on this is the time of the year when we focus more on the severe weather risk and uh, we're going to start showing this a little bit more because it, the, the weather is becoming a little bit more active in the way of uh, you know severe storms, tornadoes, things like that as we've seen already in the last few weeks. So just to let you know today's severe weather threat is going to be a little sliver of Texas and parts of Oklahoma. Well that area tomorrow shifts northward from Wichita to Kansas City into parts of Nebraska and Iowa, little sliver of Missouri. But now as we get into Thursday, that area slides further south and east to include far western Kentucky, far western Tennessee, a good chunk of Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Texas, even a little sliver of Illinois. So we'll keep an eye on that as that storm system comes in on Thursday. We are expecting some rain and thunderstorms whether they will be severe is still in question but I do think we're going to get some pretty decent rainfall out of this next system even into Good Friday average high now has gone up another notch to 65 we're gonna be well above that today we're gonna to shoot for the mid 70s low to mid 70s tomorrow near 80 on Thursday and then with the rain and thunderstorms during the day Thursday into Friday that will cool us down along with a cold front that by the end of the weekend we're going to find much cooler temperatures not cold just cooler future max predictor showing a nice day today as mentioned just a few clouds mixing with the sunshine so we'll go from Tuesday into Wednesday and here comes first signs of that moisture coming in from the south and west with this uh, little bit of light rain that shows up around Memphis some thunderstorms down there scattered showers for us as we get into Thursday morning just to the west of the Bowling Green area and then during the day on Thursday more organized showers and thunderstorms with the potential for some heavy rain moving through the area here's into Thursday night into Friday and things pretty well lining up here with that uh, cold front coming in with a good chance of showers and thunderstorms out of that particular system on Good Friday but the good news is your Easter weekend should be dry it's just going to be cooler so go ahead and keep those uh, outdoor plans for Saturday and Sunday. Long range looks like uh, everything will be fine, but temperatures will be more into the lower 60s as we get some cooler air coming in. All right, that'll do it for this edition of your First Look Forecast. Thank you so much for watching. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. God bless you, and I'll see you live at 530 on AM Kentucky.